All right, so this exercise here is a landmine uh, bent over row. But the focus of this video is to discuss the connection, the mind-muscle connection on every single rep with the muscle group that you are trying to engage and work uh, during that exercise. So I will have a lot of uh, recruitment in the back side of the body here in the bent over position with my hamstrings and my glutes and with my core being engaged the whole time. But the muscle group that I'm focused on, focusing on would be my lats. So I'm going to really send all of my attention to that muscle group. Yes, I'm using my arms. I'm gonna to try to be a little lighter in my hands so my forearms and my arms don't take over and my back does most of the work. But what you'll notice is I'm going to focus on a slower tempo. I'm gonna come in in roughly two counts, hold for two, and I'm gonna to try to release out in four and get a nice stretch at the bottom for one or two in my lats before I retract and go again on that next rep. So when you have a rep range that you're shooting for in your workout, if it's, you're one of my clients and it's a rep range I've prescribed for you, doesn't mean that you stop when you've reached the maximum number in that rep range. If it's eight to 12 and you've done 12, what's most important is the quality of your reps and are you connecting to that muscle group? And if you can do a couple more, do a couple more, then maybe the next set you up your weights so you can stay in that rep range. So the rep range is just a guide. Uh, quality of the reps is way more important. So that's what you'll notice here. I'm gonna find my position. I need to know what rep I'm on. but I've got a great burn in my lats. I'm gonna go for one more. So that is how you strength train. And that is how you maximize the results in your workout. Every single rep matters. Focus, stay locked in, zone in on that, connect with that, pay attention, and get the most out of it. You'll know when to stop, which rep is the final one in each set.